Hi. <clears throat> Hi, for my first post I'd like to review a software application that is called WiseCalc. It's a bit of a wise calculator. It actually helps you do more than your standard Windows calculator. So if you just go into Google and type WiseCalc, that's the name of the program, you can actually see that it's coming up as the first result and it's actually www.wisecalc.com that's the web page of the program okay now and that's the download link you might want, want to go and check out the features of the program and uh, what it does and uh, what good does do but let's go and download the stuff okay newest version Save, let's save it onto the desktop. Okay, while it's downloading. So 1.3 megabyte, very small program. Let's run it. Okay, now the first thing we see is that you need Microsoft.net uh, version 2.0 framework. Please visit wisecalc.com or asp.net download. Just go to wisecalc. Let's go to their web page and see if they if they have the link to the .net. Okay, they don't. .net. Probably uh, new. That's Windows XP here, uh, so probably newer version of Windows like Vista should should include it already okay that's not framework version 2.0 redistributable okay okay so that's for Windows 2000 98 98 second edition me Windows Server 2000 chain Windows XP service back to let's say Windows Vista includes it already okay let's include it Let's save it to the desktop. So there's no, um, we don't need it here anymore. Um, so let's go ahead and install the Wisecalc. Um, pretty standard setup, uh, license agreement, if you wanna read through that. Um, it gives me the options to install the software, which of course is obvious, then to create a desktop icon, no. Uh, quick launch icon, no, I'll go with the start menu shortcut, that's enough. Um, destination folder. Okay, so that's done. Let's go here and that's the Wisecalc application now. Let's see what this baby can do now. Okay. Um, apparently this program doesn't like the Windows Star button and the taskbar being on top, but that's, that's not a problem. Move it like that. Okay. Let's maximize it. Okay, let's see what it can do. Um, there's one good thing um, that I used a similar program for actually, and also all the version of that for uh, actually converting um, converting some some units, and that's for example fluid ounces to uh, milliliters. So first of all, I'd need to know what the fluid ounce is, so let's say, you can actually use Google for that, but just, just an example, so five fluid ounces in milliliters, so what's that? That's one, four, seven, six, four, eight milliliters. Okay, so, okay, one fluid ounce, what's that? Uh, 29.5 center, two, nine, six milliliters, okay. defined as that okay so if a recipe says I need um, five fluid ounces of oil let's say um, I would put in that so let's say oil equals five by fluid Hmm. 
doesn't treat a walk. Um, See if it has any examples. Let's go to wise card resources. Um, nothing. Use it to find. What I'm trying to do here is actually So that's the flowing downs in milliliters. That's the value, apparently. Okay. So that's how we define um, a constant, apparently, and. This is the week how we can um, do some calculations. So let's try um, milliliters needed is 4,000 milliliters by five. Didn't read the work. Okay, so it's supposed to be make life easier. Um, I say this might be a good piece of software if used properly, uh, but not as easy as it as might be too scientific for me. And um, actually what I will do is I will find the old version of the program or the different version of the program. And uh, I will actually review that. Um, you might want to play with this one around and uh, it might be too scientific for me, but that's it. That's the first review and uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as first, first, first things always kind of uh, look a little bit crappy and everything. <laughs> well, but that, that was it. That was WiseCalc and you can get it from wisecalc.com if you wish to view it. Um, good luck with that and tell me what you think in the comments.